The clarity is when we look at Christ's love, it is sacrificial love. He loves or reaches out to the church, not because any member of the church deserves the cleansing, the grace. But he makes, Christ makes a sacrificial step mm -hmm. to reach out. Yes. And he offers of himself that you, I have my arms open to you, to receive you. And then he embraces you and gives you the power. Yes. Once you do that, he gives you the power to actually be a follower of him or a child of him. Now, when we come to marriage relationship, the man is asked to be like Christ. Which means there's a lot of sacrifice that a man has to make. But the woman is reckoned or likened to be like the church. And the church humbles herself before Christ in worship, in adoration. And therefore, a woman, by the facet of her creation, and we may fight over these things, but there is the created being of who we are. Mm -hmm. And that was shared about here, the, the natural being. Mm -hmm that it is evident it can never be equal equal because a woman is a womb bearer is a nester of life is a nourisher that even if you try you cannot share it it is it is deception to imagine that a man and a woman can be at a nickel prey just like the man who is reckoned to christ and is a seed bearer the woman cannot be a seed bearer. She can only receive the seed and nurture it. The key thing is, each needs to take their position with grace. Because none of it is conditioned, is unconditioned. Christ does not love the church because the church has first proved its word in the love. It's out of grace, out of mercy. The church submits to Christ mm -hmm. regardless of our failings. And sometimes unanswered queries before God or prayers for that matter. We still submit to the Lord. Because by virtue of our creation, the man has not created himself. God has created him man. And with a madet, divine madet, there is something God desires yes. out of man. And man needs to align with the heart of God, the mind of God, the will of God regarding his design. How do I operate? And that is why Jesus himself, the example of the man, as he went through his ministry, the, the, the three years. Yes. When he started his ministry of preaching, teaching, and healing, constantly he said, I can do nothing. I can say nothing unless it's told of me by the Father. So Jesus submitted to the authority of the Father. If the male man submits to the authority of his creator God, the love you are called to give will not be in question. Because you have the teacher before you, you have the example before you. Yes. The problem, and I said it last week, is when culture is your teacher, when ideologies and philosophies are your teacher, when yourself, the human self, where 